Hi, everybody. Welcome again to IV English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela. And I'm Wesley. Today is April 8th, and our article for today is called The Truth of Inspiration. 我们的中文标题是 Start with Why, 鼓动行为的黄金圈。It's an article, so I'm going to read through the whole article first. You can listen to what it might sound like in a reading or on a radio program. Then we go back and reread each sentence and、uh, give you a translation and explanation for each one. If you aspire to be a leader, then Simon Sinek has some suggestions you may want to take on board. Sinek has made a career of breaking down. How to become a person who inspires others, which is the topic of his speech, How Great Leaders Inspire Action. According to Sinek, there is one specific thing leaders have in common, a concept he explains by way of his golden circle. This circle is made up of three concentric rings. In the outermost ring is what? In the middle, how? And in the center circle is the word why. Sinek points out that by why he doesn't mean a monetary agenda, but a deeper purpose. Most people and companies think from the outside of the circle and work their way inward, though they may not be able to explain why they are pursuing a certain goal. However, Sinek argues that leaders who inspire others. From the outset, begin thinking in the central ring and move outward. That is, they first determine why they do what they want to do. As an example of this abstract concept, Sinek brings up the Wright brothers. Against all odds, broke and without college degrees, the two brothers were the first to achieve manned mechanical flight. They succeeded because they believed in the future of flight. In contrast, Samuel Pierpont Langley received ample funding from the government and had graduates from Harvard working with him to build the first airplane. Yet, as Sinek states, Langley wanted to be first and become rich. His pursuit wasn't rooted in any greater belief or cause. Thus, When he failed in the venture, he simply gave up. As Sinek repeats throughout his talk, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So, if you aspire to be a leader, if you want to be a person who、um, helps other people or helps groups of people come together, then Simon Sinek has a, some suggestions you may want to take on board. If you take something on board, Um, literally, it means that a ship would take cargo on board the ship. To board a ship means to get on the ship. So, if you take something on board, you take cargo on board. It means you accept that cargo, which means you accept responsibility for that cargo. So, there's a sense of responsibility in this sentence. But、um, now we use "take on board" means incorporate it into your own thinking. Okay. 好，所以呢，这个。Take on board 本来是指啊，这个货物装船啊。那但在这里呢，呃，现在用法就是 incorporate into your thinking， 就是把这事情把它呃纳入你的思想里面，也就是接受的意思啊。好，所以呢，这个我们看到这个句，他说 ，If you 啊，如果你 aspire to 就是渴望想要干嘛，所以 If you aspire to be a leader， 就是你如果渴望想要成为一个领导人物的话啊，那 aspire 这个字呢？啊，它其实就是就是 desire strongly 的意思啊。这个字其实很有趣啊。这个字你看它的字根啊，那个 a 是 on 的意思，那个 spire 是 breathe 是呼吸的意思。所以 breathe on 就怎么样？你很想要这东西，你看着它，然后你的气都都在都吐在那东西上面。我要这个，我要这个，我要这个，那就是 aspire 啊。那 aspire 其实跟我们标题里面那个 inspire， 哎，他们的字根是一样的。Inspire 这个 S P I R 也是呼吸的意思，但是 in 的话呢是 into 的意思，所以 inspiration 我们常常讲它是一种激励或者是灵感
啊，为什么是灵感呢？因为那是上帝哈、啊，或者是你你所相信的那位神啊，他吐了一口气，吐到你的身，吐到你的脑袋里面，你突然之间就有灵感了，那个叫做 inspire 啊，所以 inspire 是呼吸吐到你的脑袋里面去的，那 aspire 是你自己呼吸吐在你要的东西上面，你很渴望一个东西。那 inspire 是受到鼓舞、受到灵感的意思啊。好，那这个地方，如果你想要成为一个 leader 的话呢，那么 Simon Sinek 他有一些 suggestions， 他有一些建议。好，那 you may want to 这个 you 前面省略了一个 that 哈。Some suggestions that you may want to take on board， 你可能会想要，他有一些建议，你也许会想要采纳或者接受的意思。Sinek has made a career of breaking down how to become a person who inspires others. We're talking about Simon Sinek. To make a career of something is to make what you do your livelihood. To make it your job to do things. It might be just a hobby for you that you do a lot, or it can actually become a career, a way to make a living. And for Simon Sinek, it's how he's making his money on the lecture circuit. That's right.、Uh, lecture is to give speeches here and there. A lot of people do that these days. His is on how to become a person who inspires others. So, as as、uh, Wesley just gave us this example, he's not a god, but his ideas may inspire others. Sinek may breathe ideas into his audience, and they think, "Oh, wow, yeah, I want to do this too," and follow what he says. Uh, and the name of his speech that he uses to inspire other people is "How Great Leaders Inspire Action." A great leader suggests、uh, what people could do, and if they're good at inspiring people, those people will go out and give it a try. Okay, 那我们看到这个 Sinek 他怎么样 has made a career of 啊这个片语大家注意一下，它跟说以这个为 career 有一点点差异哈。To make a career of 表示你这个 you do something well, you do something a lot. Now you do something famously, ah,、uh, almost like a career. 好，所以呢，我们这个中文其实我觉得我想到现在最好的一个翻译应该是他专门如何如何，因为当你讲他专门如何如何，可能的就是他的职业，那也表示他专门他做这个事情，所以他很做的很好，而且他也常常做啊。所以呢，他专门 Sinek 他专门怎么样呢 ？Breaking down. To break down 其实有很多很多的意思，但它其中的一个意思是 analyze， 是分析的意思。那在这个地方，我觉得它是分析的意思啊，不是我觉得，它就是分析的意思了啊。所以在他他这个 Sinek 他专门分析 how to become a person， 如何成为一个人，怎么样的一个人呢 ？A person who inspires others， 如何成为一个能够鼓舞其他人的人，那就是一个领导啊，一个因为领袖必须要能够鼓舞其他的人啊。激励其他的人，那你要成为一个激励其他的人的人啊，这个呢 ，which 就是这样的一件事情 ，is the topic of his speech， 是他的演讲的一个题目。那演讲题目是什么呢 ？How great leaders inspire action， 伟大的领袖如何鼓舞行动。Now, according to Sinek, there is one specific thing leaders have in common. There's a, there is an actual particular thing that all leaders do, and it's a concept that he explains by way of his golden circle. So, this idea of what all leaders do, he can explain it through or by way of his.、Um, he's got a, a graphic which he calls the golden circle.、Mm. How according to Sinek, uh, Sinek, 就根据他所说的哈，那在这个地方是啊 ，Sinek 好像是个 authority 一样，就根据他所说啊，那怎么样呢？呃，同时啊，在另外的 according to Sinek， 其实还有另外一个意思，就是这是他说的哈，这个作者他没有 taking sides. Yeah, or or also the author might be distancing themselves from like、yeah. he doesn't say Sinek says blah blah blah. He says according to Sinek, <笑> this is true. Yeah, 所以各位要听得出来，这 according to 的语气哈，他有一点 distance。但是我刚刚讲，他没有 take sides， 他没有说选择赞成还是不赞成。那事实上，他还有一点 distancing， 呃、uh, ，distancing himself。他要有把自己稍微这个离远一点，也就是这是他说的哦，这不是我说的哦啊。如果他说 Sinek said 什么什么，那可能就表示作者也觉得大概啊，就没有那那个距离就比较近一点的哈。嗯。所以呢，这个根据 Sinek 所说的 ，there is one specific thing， 有一个很明确、很特别的一件事情。啊，那这个 leaders 
have in common. 那这个事情是什么样 ？That leaders have， 就是这个领导者伟大的领袖有的东西。然后 in common to have something in common 就是共同拥有什么的意思啊，所以呢，这个有一件事情是领袖共有的啊，这就所谓的啊，这个 one specific thing leaders have in common。那这是什么呢？同伟哥告诉你，它是一个 concept， 一个概念。He explains 啊 ，a concept that he explains 那个 that 又省略掉，这是他所解释的一个 concept。怎么解释呢 ？By way of 就是透过。他透过什么解释？透过他的 golden circle， 他的黄金圈来解释。Okay, so、uh, Sinek's concept is that of a golden circle. This is an abstract idea. This circle is made up of three concentric rings. So we have a circle, a circle in the circle, and a circle in the circle of the outer circle. So concentric means they're all centered on the same point.、Mm. Yeah, because、yeah. con is together. 啊，那 center 就是中心，所以他们有共同的中心，也就是同心圆的意思啊。好，那我们来看到这个地方，他说他的这个黄金圈的 this circle is made up of， 就是它由什么组成呢？由三个同圆心的 concentric rings 的这个圈圈或者环所组成。So in the outermost ring, he wrote the word what, and in the center ring, the middle ring. Uh, not the center one. The second ring is how, and in the center, the very middle ring is the word why. So he's saying, what is the outermost concept, the least important concept, still important, but not as important as how, and not as important as the most thing, most important thing, which is why. And these are the three more central concepts of his leadership. Okay, outermost 就是最外面的，所以 in the outermost ring 最外面的那一环。Is what is what in the middle? 中间那一环呢是 how， 然后呢 in the center circle， 在中心的那个环呢 is the word 是这个字，什么字呢 ？Why？ 所以他告诉你最中心的是为什么啊，其次才是如何做，最外面是 what 做什么，或者是要是要要干嘛 ？Sinek points out that by why he doesn't mean a monetary agenda. But a deeper purpose. So these three concentric circles. Why is the innermost, and that means the most important. It is central to his idea. But this doesn't mean a monetary agenda. This is this does not necessarily mean you're doing it for money. That isn't your main purpose. There's a deeper purpose. There's a more important or more essential purpose. 好，所以这个。呃、uh, ，Sinek points out that 他指出 by why 哈、啊，就用 why 这个概念这个字呢 ，he doesn't mean 他不是意思不是说啊，也就是他用 why 意思不是 by why he doesn't mean 他的意思不是一个 monetary agenda monetary 就是跟钱有关的 agenda 本来是开会的议程，但是在这里 agenda 通常是个 usually unstated underlying motive。啊，一个通常你没有说出来的隐藏的目标，所以其实很多人做很多事情目的是为了钱，但他不会讲出来。所以他说这个 why 不一定是为了钱，而是一个 deeper purpose。你要有更深的一个目的。Most people and companies think from the outside of the circle and work their way inward. So usually they start at what, like what are we going to do, and maybe they'll get to how are we going to do it. But they may not be able to explain why they are pursuing a certain goal, or they may only be pursuing it for money, which honestly is good enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like for a business. For a business,、mm. that's your job usually. Yeah. 好，所以呢，大多数的人还有大多数的公司 think 啊、uh, ，from the outside of the circle， 他们从 what 开始先想，然后呢 ，work their way inward， 然后再慢慢往里面想办法去进入里面啊、uh, ，work their way inward. Inward. Just toward the inside or center. Though, 虽然 they may not be able to, 他们也许没有办法 explain 解释 why they are pursuing a certain goal. 他们为什么在追求某一个特定的目标 Pursue 就是追求的意思 However, Sinek argues that leaders who inspire others from the outset, Sinek says he argues. This is his main point. He's trying to、uh, convince or persuade people. That the leaders who inspire others,、uh, the the people in the company or the people in the organization, 
listen to and agree to what the person is saying. From the outset simply means from the very beginning, mm-hmm. right at the beginning of a process or a lecture or whatever, uh, they begin thinking in the central ring. These are good leaders. They start with why and move outward, past how to what. However, 但是呢 ，Seneca argues 啊，他认为 argue 不是吵架哈 ，argues 在这里是很强力的认为。他认为呢 ，leaders who inspire others 那些会激励其他人的领导者呢 ，from the outset， 他们从一开始哈，这个 outset。就是 the beginning 啊、uh, ，the initial stage of something. So from the outset, 就是 from the very beginning. 你那个能够激励别人的领导者呢，是从一开始他就 begin。他从什么东西开始呢？他从 thinking in a central ring。他一开始他的思考就是在核心的那个 ring， 也就是 why。然后呢 ，move outward。他先了解 why 之后呢，他才会往外慢慢的进入 how， 再进入 what。That is to say, they first determine why they do what they want to do. They don't. They don't just go, "Oh, let's do that." They go, "Hmm, why? What do we need, and why do we need it, and then what can we do?" 嗯，也就是说，他们会先决定一下 why they do， 他们为什么要做。Do 的受词是一个呃，这个呃，子句哈。What they want to do 啊，所以 why they do what they want to do， 他们为什么要做他们想做的这件事情。Sinek brings up the Wright brothers as an example of this abstract concept. If you're talking about concentric circles and using why, how, who, when, where, and so on, it's not so easy to follow. It's abstract. It's it's not concrete or clear, particularly. So we should have an example,、uh, a real life example that's easy to understand, and the. Wright brothers、uh, are probably maybe the most famous brothers in history, at least of the last hundred or so years. So people will know their story and they can understand this comparison、uh, between an abstract concept and a real world example. Brings up 就是提出啊，或者提起。所以 Senek 他提起啊，他提出这个怀特兄弟 as an As an example, 就是作为一个例子，什么例子呢？作为这一个 abstract 这个抽象的 concept 的一个例子啊，因为他以上讲的什么啊，三个圈圈啊，什么里面是 why， 中间是 how， 外面是 what 啊，有的从外从外面进去，有的从里面出来，他觉得太抽象了，所以他就用这个怀特兄弟做例子。So against all odds, broke and without college degrees, the two brothers were the first to achieve manned mechanical flight. So, if something is against all odds, it means that all the chances of it happening are are unlikely. They're against you. The chances are against you. It's really unlikely that you'll succeed. They were also broke. They had very little money. I'm not sure if that's true. They were actually running a very profitable printing business at the time. Ah,、uh, bicycle. Bicycle business, not printing. Anyways, they were、yeah. doing. They were working. They weren't being supported by people. Is the main thing.、Mm-hmm. They made their own money, and then they invested their own money in figuring this out. They also didn't have college degrees. They just were people who were interested in mechanical things. And in the twenties, actually, you didn't need a college degree to be an engineer. Everybody was just engineering all over the place. I doubt ten percent of the population had college degrees in the first decade of the twentieth century. Because also college degrees at the time were basically what we would consider liberal arts degrees. Now you didn't actually go to college for science. You maybe went to a technical high school, but most people were just kind of learning from each other and figuring it out.、Mm-hmm. And so these two brothers were the first to achieve manned mechanical flight. Manned means there was an actual person. Well, they said man. They that there was an actual man in the airplane, not that the thing was flying by itself, because they had already got things to fly by itself. You can make a paper airplane and sail it across the room, but to have a person inside that paper airplane and it flying successfully and its mechanical flight—it's not gliding, it's not going under power of gravity or something. There's an engine carrying it along. That was the goal, and they were the first to achieve it. How against all odds, just. 这个不顾或者克服重重的困难，好 ，odds 在这里是复数，它是几率的意思，所以所有的几率都对他不利啊，都对他不利啊，他但是他还是克服了。那这两个人他们怎么样呢 
，这个是这个、against all odds 是一个副词片语啊，放在这个句首。然后呢，后面这个 broke and without college degrees 这个是分词构句啊。那 broke broke 它可以指这个 bankrupt 就是破产，但是 broke 有的时候也可以指 lacking funds 啊，他们缺乏资金啊，所以在这里大概是可能比较接近缺乏资金啊。那而且、uh, another difference is usually broke is for people、mm-hmm. and then bankrupt is for businesses. Oh yeah, 那通常呢 broke 是个人的，那 bankrupt 是这个呃商业企业或者公司会 bankrupt 啊，通常是这样用。好，那所以他们这个没有钱，然后呢又没有大学毕业文凭啊，那当时大学毕业文凭非常的稀少。啊，而且 Angela 说，那个时候二十世纪初的时候呢，这个大学大部分还都是属于 liberal arts 啊，到比较少人说为了啊研究科学或者为了做什么东西，为了当一个机械人、机械工程师啊，跑去念大学，当时比较少啊，所以他们没有大学文凭，然后又缺乏资金。那这两位兄弟，他们是 were the first to 啊 ，to be the first to do something， 就他们是首先的意思，他们首先 achieve 或达到了 manned 呃、uh, mechanical flight， 就是。机械装置载人的飞行 ，man 的就是有人操纵的，然后呢 ，mechanical 是机械的啊，所以他们不是靠滑翔，不是靠这个弹射啊，他们是靠机械的这样飞行，他们是第一个达到的。We also talk about manned space flight.、Uh, sometimes we send up rockets with satellites, just machines and computers and so on. At other times, like with astronauts or cosmonauts.、Uh, People are inside of those rockets, and that would be a manned flight as opposed to an unmanned flight. 嗯，好，所以现在太空任务也有很多是 manned flight 啊，就是有人驾驶的啊。那对，相对就是 unmanned flight. Continuing, they succeeded the Wright brothers because they believed in the future of flight. They had a dream, and they wanted to make this dream come true. Probably they wanted to be able to fly themselves. What a thrill! Yeah, believe in. 哈，这个片语呢，就是 to have firm faith. 好，有很坚强的信心，或者是 confidence. 好，甚至于是 trust in something. 所以他们成功是因为他们有很坚强的信念啊，相信 the future of flight， 相信飞行这件事情的未来。In contrast, Samuel Pierpoint Langley, while even his name. <laughs> His、I'm、name is just、I、like a comic. It's just all rich people's names. Like Pierpont is a rich family. Langley is a rich family. Like, dude came from money. Okay, <laughs> he received ample funding from the government because if you come from money, you don't always just you don't just have money. You also have connections. So he found a way to get government funding. Ample funding is more than just a little bit. He didn't get peanuts. He got a significant bunch of money. And he had graduated from Harvard. Whoop! Whoop! He had graduates from Harvard, so he may or may not have graduated from college, but he got Harvard graduates to work with him to build the first airplane. So I claimed earlier that they didn't really have engineering degrees at the time. They did, but very few people actually needed an engineering degree to do engineering jobs. So、um, he got these people who did actually have engineering degrees to build the first airplane, and he had lots of money to do it. But they were not the first ones. How in contrast, 相对而言啊、uh, ，Samuel Pierpont Langley 啊、uh, received 他接收到得到了 ample funding， 这常常在一起搭配 ample 就是怎么样，就是 fully sufficient， fully sufficient to meet a need 啊、uh, ，所以非常丰富的啊， uh, 所以他有很丰富的这个资金。From the government, 政府给他很丰富的资金。他还有哈佛的毕业生 graduates from Harvard working with him， 跟他一起合作来建造第一架飞机。Yet, but as Sinek states, as he makes clear in his、uh, lecture in his talk, Langley wanted to be first and become rich. These were the reasons he was trying to be the first person to develop a manned flight airplane. 但是呢，正如 s e n e c 他所说的啊 ，Lenny 他想要成为第一个建打建造人造飞机，哎、呃，就是建打出飞做出飞机的人。然后他望他希望能够 become rich， 希望能够致富。His pursuit wasn't rooted in any greater belief or cause. Um, so his pursuit, his chasing this dream, wasn't rooted in or based in any greater belief or cause. 
So Sinex thing is that if you have a higher purpose, you're going to be more motivated. And if you're just there to make money, you'll give up more easily. Mm. 好，那他的 pursuit， 他的这个追寻呢 ，was not rooted in， 就是没有根植于什么，就是他的根不在于啊、uh, any greater belief or cause， 不在于什么更远大的信念或者是他的这个奋斗目标。Thus, when he failed in the venture, he was unsuccessful. He and his team of Harvard graduates could still not make a flying machine. He simply gave up. Yeah, he didn't have the why. Yeah, he had the what and maybe the how, but、mm-hmm. he didn't have the why. So, when he failed, ah,、uh, venture is his this time, his plan, ah, 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 his this time, his plan, 啊、uh, ，buy 就是关心在乎，哈、啊，吃你哪一套？所以，正如他所说，他整个演讲都在说的。Throughout his talk， 人们啊，不吃说你做什么，他不在意，不在乎你做什么，他在乎的是你为什么做什么。Okay, that's it for today's lesson. We hope you enjoyed it and、uh, had fun with us at the same time. And、uh, join us when we get together again, which will be soon. And until then, bye bye.